Boxing Mind TV, man. Ooh wee. Y'all read the title, man. Let's get to it, man. Terrence Crawford destroys Kell Brook, man. And dominant fashion, man. It was it was a good fight. I mean, it was unexpected the way he he beat him. I I didn't. I don't think nobody, you know, expected uh, Terrence Crawford to beat Kell Brook in, in four rounds. Not him out in four rounds, man. I thought it was gonna be a later later round, you know, comparing it with you know with uh with uh spence and and brooke uh, how they finished them out not spence and brooke but spence and um triple g uh, how they finished out uh um kel brooke when they fought but hey terrence crawford showed his skills man he showed his skills like at first he showed that um he, he was had, he had a little trouble with uh kel brooke with that jab that was hitting him he you know kel brooke was winning the fight basically for the probably he probably won the first two at least i think when first two first three he won the fight you know crawford was picking it up and then crawford man that motherfucker adapt and 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 counter him so nicely man timed him perfectly you know what i'm saying and and finished the show man and then you know crawford showed that he has power like i was trying to tell people like you can't you can't um in my last my prediction video like the strength factor is not something you can use against Crawford because Crawford string is un un underestimated you know what I'm saying he has power and he's acclimates to the to the division you know what I'm saying you could be bigger than him or whatever or they say you say you're bigger than him or whatever but the man is is a is a legitimate 147 pounder and he has power in both hands you know he can finish you once he get once he gets you hurt he getting you out of there you know what I'm saying so Crawford is the real deal. You have to give him his credit. Give him his credit, and and he came out and dominated uh, uh, Kell Brook. I mean, what well, he did, he wasn't winning the first couple of rounds, but it's, it's a twelve round fight. You have to get, you have to adjust as a boxer and think, and that's what, and that's what uh, uh, true champions and and elite fighters do, and that's what Crawford showed last night. He showed his ass, man, and you have to give him credit for that. You know what I'm saying? He he dominated, and um, he did something that. That never happened to Kelby before. Kelby said that you know nobody ever got got me out got me out in that way. You know what I'm saying? He got hit with a shot that he didn't see because Crawford timed him, timed him perfect. That was a nice shot, man. It's like this type that type of shot you you want to think nobody get you know stumble from that or get you know or get uh um or get dazed from that type of shot. You know what I'm saying? It was so quick, but it was like a it's like a jab type uh right hook type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like a jab a jab hook type type of punch and he was able to um to to hurt Kell Brook after that shot you can see in Kell Brook's eyes he was kind of like he was out of it you know what I'm saying when the ref was talking to him I knew it was over I was like oh it's over the way you see and see in his eyes like he just like couldn't believe like he was hurt you know what I'm saying his nose started bleeding from that point from that point already so it was just like man Terrence Crawford is the real deal he has power man um and I think he's ready for anybody in the division. Like Spence could fight him; it would be a great fight for Spence. I mean, Spence and him to fight. But you cannot use. A lot of people been using. You know, um, Crawford's too small. Uh, Crawford's not as strong as Spence. Listen, Crawford is just as strong as anybody in the division. Probably even stronger. That boy is strong. He's tough. You know what I'm saying? And it's time that people give him his credit, even when, um. Even when um when Crawford beat um Kel uh Amir Khan, even when he beat Amir Khan, I feel like he should have got some credit from that because he was the first person to actually um um outbox Amir Khan. It wasn't just because when he came in, in that fight, people were expecting him like, oh, he's just going he's gonna catch Amir Khan with a shot. Yeah, everybody catch everybody all the top. You know, if, you, if you're a elite fighter, you gonna you gonna catch uh Khan with a a big shot and knock him out that's what you that's what Khan was known for you know what i'm saying but you won't outbox him but crawford came in there he outboxed him and knocked him out you know what i'm saying so i feel like you gotta, gotta give him credit for that you know what i'm saying he was just sharp and he 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 he, he, he dominated he just just dismantled amir Khan. but people didn't give him too much credit now he came and fought kel brook a big welterweight a strong welterweight and he just you know he, he was losing the fight a little bit and he just adapted in real real fast and just dominated and took him out you know what i'm saying took him out so 
You gotta give you gotta, you gotta give the man credit, man. He he he's doing his thing. Destroyed him. And I can't wait to see his next fight, who he fights, you know. Um say he wants to fight Pacquiao. And uh Spence is gunning for Pacquiao too if he gets through uh uh Danny Garcia. And I just uh I just can't wait to see it, man. I just can't wait to see it. But y'all gotta, y'all gotta give I gotta give Terrence Crawford his credit, man. That boy, that boy, something serious. That boy, something serious, man. But y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. Boxing Mind TV, and I'm out.